it has been one heck of a day in home health healthcare today. I am worn out and ready to do some yoga. So I'm gonna hop out of my scrubs into my yoga pants and I'll see you on the mat. Meet me in Sukhasana, easy sitting on your mat, pressing the palms together. I invite you to set your intention. My intention is for health. And just bring your awareness to your breath. Smooth inhale and exhale through the nose. On your next inhale, sweeping the arms overhead, clasping the palms together and pressing them toward the sky. On your exhale, dropping the right arm to your side, reaching up, spiraling through the heart, opening up through the chest, then sweeping your arms down in front, stretching long through your fingertips, awareness to your breath, sweeping over to the opposite side, spiraling that heart up toward the sky, feeling the ribs expand like an accordion, sweeping the arm back around to the front, deep inhale in and out through the nose, then slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time, coming to sitting. Repeat sweeping the arms overhead, stretching up long from tailbone, and on an exhale, twisting to the right, right hand to the base of the spine, left hand to the knee, inhales lengthening through the spine, exhales deepening your twist. Inhale the arms back up, stretching high, now to exhale twisting to the opposite side. Maybe your gaze looks over your shoulder, focus on your breath, inhaling the arms back overhead. Palms touching, draw your hands down to heart center. Then change the cross of your legs. And begin moving your torso in circles. Doing the Sufi grind, waking up the spinal muscles, the cerebral spinal fluid. And when you've moved enough in one direction, we're gonna switch making sure we are all even out. And when you feel all even, coming back to center, rolling slowly up, and dropping the ear to the shoulder, maybe rolling down the chin to the opposite side, lingering any space that feels it needs a little extra attention today. I'm always feeling stiff in my neck, so these feel fantastic, almost like a self-massage. Stretches are wonderful for re releasing tension. It's good to do throughout the day. Maybe you're sitting in your car or at your desk. Just do a few neck rolls. Then sweeping the arms forward and clasping the hands behind, opening through the chest widening through the collarbones, then flexing forward, arms sweeping toward the sky. Inhale, coming back up, releasing the clasp of the hands, rolling over into your tabletop, lining your shoulders over your wrist, hips over your knees, and just begin moving at your own pace with a few cycles of cat and cow. Inhaling, dropping the belly, Exhaling, rounding through the spine, drawing the navel to spine. Just move in any way that your body is calling for today. Begin patting out your feet, just to give yourself a little bit of a break and continue on with a few more rounds of cat and cow. Breath with your movements. And coming down to your forearms, pressing the hips up and high into your dolphin. Stretching through the legs, maybe your heels come down toward the ground. Head is heavy. Drop back down to your knees, coming into your puppy pose. Hips high, arms stretching out long. Breath between your shoulder blades, rippling up and down your spine. 
pressing your third eye into the mat. Coming back to your tabletop. Then reaching the right arm out, left leg behind you, doing a little spinal balance here. If you're able to reach that right hand back, clasping the foot, opening up through the chest, stretching out the quads and release. Taking the leg out to the side, engaging your gluteus medius and back to center, reaching strong fingertip to heel and release, shaking the hips out side to side. Then when you're ready, Stretching the opposite way, left hand out, long line of energy, fingertip through heel, and reaching back to clasp the opposite foot, opening up through the chest, stretching out the quad. Breathing here. Releasing the foot, reaching out to the side. Woo! Working on balance and strength at the same time. Reaching out nice and long and dropping back down to your tabletop. Knees wide, big toes touching, sinking back to your child's pose. Reconnecting with your breath, reconnecting with your intention, thinking of three things you are grateful for today. Coming back up, we're going to thread the right arm under, coming in to thread the needle in our child's pose. Continue focusing on the breath between the shoulder blades, widening and expanding with each inhale. Side of the head resting on your mat. Then coming back up, reaching out long and threading the left arm under in your thread the needle child's pose on the opposite side. Sinking the hips toward the feet, softening somewhere, maybe it's your jaw, your low back, even the soles of your feet. Breath is smooth in and out through the nose. Inhale, reaching the arms out long, back into your extended child's pose, then coming back up Pressing the hips up and high into your downward facing dog. Maybe you pedal out your feet, walking your dog. Nice juicy stretch for the whole body coming into that triangle shape. Maybe you take your feet wide as the mat and sway your hips side to side. Then coming back to feet hip width apart, shaking out the head, pressing strongly through the arm making that triangle shape with your body. Maybe keep pedaling out the legs, whatever feels good. Yoga is about honoring your body, linking breath with your movement. Then walking the hands to meet the feet, hanging here in ragdoll. Maybe clasping opposite elbows to picture frame the head, swaying side to side, knees generously bent, chest toward thighs. Then rolling up to the right side, coming up into our sunflower. Exhaling over to the left, stretching through the side body ways, coming back down to hang in ragdoll. Inhaling and exhaling evenly through the nose. Inhaling back up your left side and dropping it over to your right side. This is one of my favorite morning stretches. Really opens up the fascia after a long night's sleep. Then coming back, slowly rolling up. Inhaling arms overhead into your mountain pose. Palms together, drawing them to your heart space. Coming back to your intention. Releasing the arms down. Inhale, sweeping the arms open. Cactusing the arms back, exhale into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, stepping back into your high plank. Holding here, navel to spine. The new ab work is plank versus crunches. Shifting backwards through the heels, then shifting forward. Hugging the elbows to the side and lowering all the way down to the mat. 
bringing hands to low ribs, pressing up into your cobra pose. Lowering back down. Exhale, pressing back into your tabletop. Hips up and high, downward facing dog. And just notice how does this dog feel different than your first dog. Looking up between your hands, we're gonna step the right foot up. Hanging here in a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweeping the arms overhead, palms to touch. Drawing your hands down to your heart center. Inhale, sweep arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping or hopping back to your plank. Coming into your up dog or cobra. Up dog is knees and thighs off the mat. Exhale, downward facing dog. And holding here. Breathing in and out through the nose. Step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweeping the arms over the head. Step to the front of your mat, meeting me in mountain pose. Stepping back with the right foot, lining up right foot parallel to the back edge of your mat. Heel to arch alignment. Arms out, coming into your warrior two. Your gaze is over your left middle finger, your yoga dristi gaze. And exhale back into your peaceful warrior. Inhale up. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Coming into your side angle pose. Long line of energy, fingertip down through your heel. Exhale, maybe you take a bind. There's as many options here with side angle. There's also holding your arms out to the side like you're holding a beach ball. You can open your arms and fly. Taking whatever variation of side angle feels great. Inhale back to your warrior two, straighten that front leg out. Maybe you take a shorter stance. Hip hinging coming into your triangle pose, really lengthening through the torso. Gaze can be up or down, whatever feels great on your neck. It's more important to have length in the torso than wherever that left hand is. It can be shin, your foot, the mat. Inhale, coming back up to your warrior two. Exhale, windmill your hands down, step back to your plank. Chaturanga, inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And taking a moment here to rest, looking up between your hands, step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, samastitihi. Stepping that left foot back, coming into your warrior two on the opposite side, arms reaching long, right knee tracking toward the pinky side toe. Left foot parallel to the back edge of your mat. Maybe you roll the arms out and in. Opening up the shoulders, hips are squared to the side rail in my picture. Exhale into your peaceful warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Inhale, warrior two, feeling strong. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Inhale, your warrior two. Exhale, bringing the right elbow to the knee, coming into your side angle, spiraling the chest open toward the sky, taking your variation here. Maybe you do a bind if you did so on the other side. This is a great prep for Bird of Paradise. You can hold the invisible beach ball, arms at the side, or you can plant the right hand down, opening up, flying, that feels better or staying with your traditional extended side angle. Inhale, warrior two, straighten that front leg. Exhale, hinging forward, coming into your triangle pose. Feeling strong through the legs, lengthening through the torso. Noticing the breath and inhaling back up to your warrior two.
Exhale, windmill the hands down, stepping back to plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Taking our traditional vinyasa flow here. Holding down dog, strong through your arms and your legs. Taking a brief rest. Then dropping down to your knees. They can be wider together. Coming into our child's pose, sinking the hips toward the heels, arms extended in front of you, forehead either on a block or pressing down on the mat, connecting your third eye. Maybe you bring your thumbs together, your index fingers making a triangle, really opening up through your shoulders. Reconnecting with your breath. Feeling the inhales expand the ribs, the exhales flowing out. Exhaling anything that no longer serves you. Then coming up to your tabletop, pressing your hips back up to your downward facing dog. Looking up, we're gonna step the right foot up to our right hand, dropping the left knee, inhaling up into our Anjane Asana, crescent moon. Stretching to the left psoas, we're gonna drop the left hand, opening up, reaching back, maybe you grab the opposite foot, stretching out the quad, inhale that on back up, popping the back knee up, really opening up into your dragonfly. One of my favorite poses. Exhaling the hand back down, walking the right foot to the edge of your mat and sinking down into your lizard pose. Maybe you come onto your elbows, maybe you stay up on your hands. Always listening and honoring your body. Feeling the stretch into your hips. Then pressing up and back, downward facing dog. Inhaling and exhaling smooth and even through the nose. Look up between your hands, stepping the left foot up between them, dropping the right knee. Inhale, coming onto your knee, feeling balance. When you find your balance, inhaling the arms overhead, crescent moon. Maybe you sink a little deeper into your psoas, dropping the right hand, reaching back for that right foot, stretching out the quad. Also opening up that left shoulder. Continuing placing a high priority on your breath, popping that right leg up into your dragonfly. Letting your shoulders open wide, gaze up or down, then plant the hand, walking the left foot to the side of your mat, dropping the left hip open, coming down into your lizard pose. A very nice juicy stretch for your hips which we can tend to hold a lot of tension and emotions in our hips. I always love to get a little extra hip stretch hip openers in to my yoga practice. And maybe you use your breath to come back into your downward facing dog. Gaze is between your knees your yoga gaze, your dristi. Look up between your hands, step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweeping the arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. And stepping out long width of the mat into your goddess pose. Cactus in the arms back, and let's just do some side bends left and right, maybe three times. Stretching the side body ways. Keeping the legs strong, hint of a smile on your face. Coming back to your cactus arms, extend the legs and hip hinge coming forward, dropping the hands down to the floor. Inhale, sweeping the right arm up, coming into a twist, a detoxifying twist. Exhale, planting that right hand back down on the mat and inhaling the left arm up toward the sky. Twist gently ring out the internal organs, aiding in digestion and boosting the immune system. Staying healthy is our focus. Exhale, coming back to center, hands to your hips, slowly rolling back up. Then you're gonna step or hop your feet back together, coming to the top of your mat. Inhale, arms overhead. 
exhale forward fold inhale half lift exhale step hop back to your plank chaturanga inhale up dog exhale downward facing dog maybe your heels come a little closer to the mat this time then step in or hopping to the front of your mat coming to your halfway lift exhale forward fold inhale sweeping the arms overhead coming to our mountain pose step out wide dropping down into our malasana squat our yogi squat lifting up through the pelvic floor pressing navel to spine you want to play with your crow arm balance then you can bring the knees on the triceps or the back of the arms lifting one foot then the other playing with a little arm balance which is always empowering when you do it you feel super awesome dropping the feet back down into your malasana squat maybe pressing the knees open with your elbows then coming to sitting sitting with your legs extended in front of you inhaling the arms overhead exhale hinging forward grabbing wherever you can maybe it's the shin your big toes your feet forward folds are very calming to the body it's also great for boosting the immune system each inhale lengthens the spine each exhale fold a little deeper then inhale sweeping back up bringing the feet together into Baddha Konasana feet inhaling up exhale hinging forward you can bring your feet close to you or a little further out like a diamond shape taking the posture that best suits your body today opening up the hips stretching out the lumbar thoracic and cervical spine slowly rolling back up extending the right leg out to the side left knee bent inhale arms overhead exhale folding forward over the right leg maybe you clasping the hands together connecting your energy feeling the breath as it ripples up and down your spine bringing awareness to lengthening through the back of the leg stretching out your hamstring inhale sweeping the arms back up and switching legs bending the right knee oh first we're going to windshield wiper the knee side to side just resetting releasing the hips and now we're going to bend the right knee extending the left inhaling arms overhead exhale folding over the left leg lengthening through the hamstring maybe you feel it in the hip the groin shifting wherever the stretch goes today feeling the breath as it expands through the side body waist the back the leg maybe your nose coming closer to your knee chest towards your thigh focusing the mind dropping down into your body releasing that foot we're going to come up into a twist bringing that left foot crossing it over the right coming into our half lord of the fish pose inhale arms overhead bring the right elbow to the opposite side of the knee planting the left hand at the base of the spine inhale lengthen through the spine exhale deepen your twist your gaze can be over your left shoulder or straight ahead releasing doing this fun little switch just moving around to the opposite side inhaling the right arm back at the base of your spine hooking the left elbow on the opposite side of your right knee hips are as even as you can get them inhale lengthening through the spine exhale deepening your twist and releasing stretching the legs out in front of you maybe you shake them out a little bit flexing the knees and windshield wiping those legs side to side just to reset feels really great then holding to the back of your thigh slowly rolling down one vertebrae at a time till you're flat on your mat long body stretch arms overhead then hugging that right knee into your chest half wind pose 
making some ankle circles, any extra joint movement you can squeeze in, I think is always beneficial. Then hugging both knees into your chest, full wind pose, rocking side to side, massaging out that lumbar spine, flexing and pointing the toes, relaxing the face, Exhale, stretch that right leg out long, hugging your left knee into your chest, making the same beautiful ankle circles. Stretching and releasing through the low back, then stretching out nice and long, fingertips to toe, sweeping the arms down to your side. Then flexing the knees where your fingertips can just graze your heels. We're gonna come into our bridge pose, pressing the hips up toward the sky. Maybe you snuggle your shoulder blades under you and clasp the hands together, pressing high, tracking the knees toward each other. Maybe you come up on your toes to lift even higher. Maybe you look down at your belly and see it rise and fall with the breath and slowly roll back down. And we're gonna come into another restorative pose, feet wide, knees touching, constructive rest. Then sitting back up for your second back extension, coming into a bridge, taking a variation with your hands clasped behind your back if you want to. Pressing hip bones up toward the sky, inviting some extension into the lumbar spine. Neck is neutral. I'm looking at the clouds here thinking, wow, how pretty. And then windshield wipering the knees side to side, releasing out the low back. We're gonna do one more bridge or wheels in your practice. Bring the hands by the ears, pressing up and holding, keeping the breath smooth. This one's always challenging for me when I really have to reconnect with my breath. Slowly lowering down, chin to chest. And windshield wiping those knees side to side. Hugging both knees in, releasing out the low lumbar spine. Maybe you massage rocking side to side. Release the feet back down to your mat, shift the hips over to the right, dropping the knees to the left. Maybe you help deepen the twist, holding with your left hand, your gaze can be over your right shoulder. Another beautiful twist to detoxify, wringing out the organs, ousting toxins. And releasing the knees, rolling back up, planting the feet and resetting the hips. Maybe you should hug the knees in one more time, shift the hips over and drop the knees to the side. Giving yourself a little self assist if you did on the other side. Holding the knee with your right hand. Your gaze can be straight or slightly turned toward the left side. Long, smooth inhale through the nose. Long, deep exhale, gently extending the exhale. And when you're ready, come back up, planting the feet, flexing the knees. And we're gonna cross that right ankle over the left knee into our recline pigeon. Beautiful stretch for the piriformis, our deep external hip rotators. Make sure you keep that right foot flexed to protect your knee. And then maybe you invite some movement into your left ankle, making some ankle circles. I'm taking the opportunity to make ankle circles on both feet. Gently releasing and crossing left ankle over right knee, flexing that left foot, then reaching behind and drawing that right thigh toward you. If it feels good, you can just leave it where it is, plant it on the ground. Taking ankle circles here. Really feeling the stretch, maybe you go a little bit deeper. Periformis stretches can be quite intense. So always be aware, no sharp pain. Gently releasing feet back to the floor. Bending the knees, grabbing the outside of the feet, coming into happy baby. Maybe you rock your baby side to side. 
taking an aversion feet over heart and then dropping the feet down extending nice and long big long stretch and then taking up a lot of space getting cozy coming into our shavasana pose so here you're gonna let the feet just flop out to the side palms facing up toward the sky maybe you do a body scan your body's heavy melting into the mat you're feeling warmth in the palms of your hands maybe a tingle on your skin softening the face the jaw tongue falling away from the roof of the mouth you cannot always control what goes on outside but you can always control what goes on on the inside Begin wiggling your fingers and your toes, just inviting some movement, stretching your body long, hugging your knees to your chest and rolling over to your favorite side, cradling your head with your arms, feeling this moment of peace, feeling gratitude for your health. Then rolling up to sitting to meet me on your mat. Inhaling arms overhead, hands together, hands to heart center. Today, may there be peace within. May you trust that you are exactly where you are meant to be. May you not forget the infinite possibilities that are born of faith in yourself and others. May you use the gifts that you have received and pass on the love that has been given to you. May you be content with yourself just the way you are. Let this knowledge settle into your bones and allow your soul, the feeling, to sing, dance, praise, and love. It is there each and every day for us. Thank you so much for joining me in my very first yoga video. Namaste.